It's live now to Adam Kokesh, US veteran and anti-war activist. Welcome to RT International, Adam. So less than three weeks after it was announced, it seems that Biden's Ministry of Truth, as it's been nicknamed, is now on hold. Were you surprised by the backlash to it? No, not at all surprised. Very encouraged. And I'm encouraged that you guys are covering this. I'm grateful to be included in the conversation as an Iraq veteran who's been, in that sense, a victim of a massive government disinformation campaign. And as someone who's been censored and shadow banned as an independent media producer and anti-war activist trying to draw attention to the lies that government tells. Mm -hmm. But the, the government, you know, disinformation governance board it's loudly, painfully absurd to anybody who understands what's really going on, using this as a means of psychological control. It's like, well, no, we're the ones who tell the truth. They're the ones who lie. No, 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 they're the ones spreading misinformation. We're the ones spreading the truth. Mm -hmm. it, it's it's pathological. If you, if you anthropomorphize government as a person, this is some serious sociopathic pathological line behavior of setting up a, a new way of saying, well, I'm the one telling the truth and everybody else is lying. Mm -hmm. And yeah, all the comparisons, all the jokes about George Orwell, 1984, uh, the chair, Nina, her uh, the history of spreading misinformation herself. But what's encouraging about this is that government has gone, in the United States at least, I mean, governments all over the world do this to justify their existence, obviously. But in the United States, they've gone so far as to create the Ministry of Truth, as it's being referred to as the 1984 reference, and it's so over the top. They can't, they can't just say, "Oh, we're fact checkers," because everybody go fact checkers. Yeah, right. You, you're your preferred fact because it's your truth and your agenda. Mm -hmm. And really, we go government you know, misinformation governance board. This is ridiculous. Yeah, so you're, you're not surprised in the slightest then. But do, do you find it ironic that the White House press secretary said that the disinformation board was itself subject to disinformation, particularly regarding its head, Nina Yankovic? Well, I, I think it was uh, the reporter Ducey in the White House uh, press secretary briefing said, like, wait, so are you saying that because it was mischaracterized, it was shut down. Therefore, the misinformation board was shut down by misinformation. <laughs> you go, yeah. It's almost like, you know, government inception, lying about lies, about lies, about lies, about lies. And if they can't even combat misinformation about themselves, mm -hmm. what chance do they have to do uh, anything about the bigger problem of misinformation? But we think about it, well, what is... What is misinformation? What is what is it? When is it problematic? It's because it's people lying to take advantage of other people. Who does that? Who does? Oh, governments. Governments are the biggest perpetrators of that kind of dishonesty historically, throughout human history, throughout the world. It is black in order to manipulate and control you. So that's why it's just the government own, you know, misinformation board is so so laughably ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Do you think what do you think Washington's going to um, resort to other techniques to tackle what it believes to be disinformation? Well, one of the funny things that was brought up, and as long as I'm on RT, I'll mention the uh, connection with Ukraine, Russia, is that they're saying, well, we have to combat misinformation about Ukraine, Russia, because the Russian government sees it as an information war. Oh, my gosh, we have to but there were no kidding, of course, the American government sees everything as a an inf information war, a misinformation war, where how, how do we fire our misinformation more effectively to control the narrative and, and make more war happen, to justify spent sending $40 billion to Ukraine when Americans can't pump gas or buy baby food formula, as, as Dr. Rand Paul, U.S. Senator, is so apt in pointing out. Mm -hmm. So I, when I, I see this, like, it just falling on top of each, you know, falling on, uh, over itself, falling apart, I'm, I'm encouraged. But, you know, it's, it's, it's a liar's game. And, and I think the credibility of, of governments, especially the American government, as we see it as historically lied us into war over and over and over again when they say well now we're gonna we're gonna govern your misinformation mm -hmm. you know hey it's just another tactic of uh, of lying mm -hmm. well we'll have to wait and see what the future holds for the uh, disinformation board adam kokesh u.s veteran and anti-war activist thank you very much for your input today here on rt my pleasure thank you